Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Wednesday, September 16th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And also, right here on our front lawn, every Sunday at 10, we have drive-up worship. It's wonderful. We'd love to have you come join us. My scripture today is Psalm 37, verse 30. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. This is the word of the Lord. I was thinking the other day about the story of the Tower of Babel, or Babel if you prefer, where mankind decided to build a tower to the heavens, and instead God confused their languages and made sure that they would never again be able to cooperate to the full extent that they would imagine themselves to be God. Well, today, even within our own language and culture, it is difficult for us to truly understand one another. I was thinking of when we study other languages. Can you imagine someone who doesn't speak English trying to explain to them what the word bear means? Well, if it's spelled B-E-A-R, it can be a bear, the animal. It can be a stock market downturn. It can mean mm. sparse, if it's spelled B-A-R-E. It can mean open or strip away, if it's spelled B-A-R-E. Back to B-E-A-R, it can mean support or endure. It can mean to carry. It can mean deserves or demands. It can mean to turn, as in bear left. It can mean give birth. It can mean dislike. I can't bear him. Can you imagine how difficult it would be for someone to master all those definitions and for us to understand completely what another person might be saying unless we knew the context, the culture, and the background. The Word of God reminds us that no matter how smart we get, no matter how many clues we learn, no matter how many contexts we master, that our wisdom still falls short of the glory of God. But we can rejoice because it is by God's wisdom that this beautiful creation has been given us. It is by the word, by the Lord our Savior Jesus Christ, that we have the promise of abundance, that we have salvation and forgiveness, and that we are heirs and partners of an eternal covenant. Today I celebrate not the wisdom of human beings, but the wisdom of God who has given us all. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the blessings and the joys and the abundances of our lives. We pray, Lord, that you would always remind us to be thankful and to seek to serve, to give, and to share. And Lord, don't give us more than we can bear but as we bear our souls, it bears repeating that we need to bear off the path of human devices and desires and get our bearings and turn to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.